Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Guys, this is going to be a five card oracle reading and it's called um, Asking for a Sign, right? So this is personal to everyone. Maybe you're looking for a sign or something, but we're using the Sign of the Times Oracle and one of their spreads. So let's just see if Spirit is going to give you a sign into a situation or something like that. Something that could have been on your mind or a situation that you currently find yourself in. Holy Spirit, what's going on? So they said pick three, then shuffle again, and then pick two. Alright, let me shuffle again. And then take two. Wow, this sounds interesting. Okay, so you have, your first card is palm. You have destiny. So your destiny could be in the palm of your hand. Then you have lightning. This is going to be a disruption uh, somewhere. And then we have a chance, the dice. So someone may be taking a chance. We have surrender, meaning you're gonna give to something. You're, you're letting something go, you're surrendering something. And then we have keys and opportunities. So you have these opportunities coming your way. All right, guys. So let's start with your destiny. And this is a sign from spirit, right? So we're starting with destiny. There is power in your palm. What are you passionate about? Have you thought about your purpose? This card is calling your attention back to yourself and your destiny. Prepare for faded events and moments that seem out of your control. You may notice an increase in coincidences and things may align in ways that seem to be impossible. These forces are pushing you towards your destiny. You are being nudged to follow your soul's calling. If you don't know what that is yet, take some time to think about what you are drawn to and what you enjoy. Meditate and connect with your higher self for further guidance. You may experience not so random connections that lead you to exactly where you are destined to be. This card also indicates heightened intuition and spirit, spiritual senses. You could be feeling like you are destined for more, but not quite sure what that might look like. Accept that you don't have an explanation for everything and allow the universe to work its magic and guide you. Fate is stepping in and leading you to your next phase. An urge to pursue a calling, significant fated events are occurring, discovering your purpose, enhanced spiritual guidance, or gifts so your destiny is in the palm of your hand spirit just wants you to find out what it is that you're passionate about so then we have disruption guys which is lightning looks like an airplane with lightning coming through that's what this one looks like i forgot to show you the first one this is your destiny in the palm of your hand, right? But then you have some disruptions coming. Like a flash of lightning that illuminates the night sky without warning, this card wants you to not just expect the unexpected, but embrace it. The unknown and anticipated cause many people to fear the worst, but that is not always the case. This is a card of events happening suddenly out of the blue. A single sentence can reveal information that changes everything. Or you could turn around and have a life-altering experience right on the sidewalk or in your own kitchen. These moments are a shock to the system, whether positive or negative. Since you can't plan for surprises by definition, this card is a lesson in the unpredictable nature of life. So there could be a shocking change in your life, an act of God, enlightenment, and unpredictability. So while you're planning your destiny over here and getting on the right path and doing what it is for you, something's going to come in, good, bad, or indifferent. Something is going to cause a little disruption. It could be shocking. It could be powerful. It could be loving. Anything that's a disruption, good or bad, kind of pulls on your energy, right? It's, it's just a matter of what it is. So guys, expect the unexpected. Something huge could happen. Then we have dice, number 19. Cute little dice. Looks like the dice. Oh, I was about to say the dice that hang from your rear view mirror, but it's hanging from a rear view mirror. Remember those dice back in the day? People used to have those big fluffy dice. 
I don't know if they still do it today, but I haven't seen them. So 19, sometimes it's necessary to take a chance and other times the risk is not necessarily worth the reward. The dice represents taking that risk, whether it be a calculated one or one taken out of necessity. There may be many unknowns right now, but doing nothing is not an option. Weigh all your options to determine what makes the most sense. If you are unhappy with the current situation in your life and it is not serving you, now may be the time to bet on yourself and walk away. Alternatively, there could be something you've been working on that requires perseverance to see the fruits of your labor. This card encourages you to take chances in a way that fulfills your ultimate desires. It also asks the question, what risk are you willing to take? You'll never know what will happen if you roll the dice until you do. Spirit wants you to take, take a risk on something you've been considering. Beware of impulsive decision making, make a choice, and seek answers from within. So something's going to change in your life, and you're going to take a chance on something. You may be taking a chance on this disruption. This could be a person entering your life, and maybe you're going to take a chance on it. Or a situation, maybe it's a new job, and maybe you're going to take a chance on it. And then we have water, number 39, which is surrender. Number 39. Water is a versatile element in the way it flows and takes the shape of whatever container it is placed into. Now is the time to release control and surrender to the pull of the current. Fight the temptation to force a situation or outcome. You will get the best results by allowing events to play out organically. Be flexible and try to work with any outside elements that come your way. There are also heightened emotions at play when it comes to water. You may find yourself more emotional than usual, but don't try to temper your reactions or numb yourself. Allow the feelings to come and eventually go. This card also represents nurturing and replenishing. Go with the flow and take care of yourself at the same time. Ride these waves and see where the tide takes you. This is feminine energy, emotional healing and growth. Let go of control issues. Use your intuition, stay fluid, and drink water. So guys, you're going to have to surrender to something that could be coming your way. But if you do it like water, you'll flow with it, right? Because flow, remember, it takes on the form of whatever you put it in. If we put it, if, if this was a square and you were able to put water in it, then it would be a square of water instead of a bowl of water or a cup of water. It just takes on the form because it's fluid. But you have number 17, guys. This is opportunities. Get ready because opportunity is knocking on your door and handing you the key. You could be receiving multiple opportunities or feel like pathways that were once blocked are now available to you. Take advantage of offers coming your way, but remember to stay in control. Just because you have the key, it doesn't mean you have to go through the door. You can always place it in your back pocket until you are ready. Use discernment when deciding what to accept and what to leave behind. It is your call on how you choose to move forward. The key also symbolizes access, detachment, and freedom. You may be inspired to try new things or be ready to pursue an opportunity without fear of the outcome. Now is the time to unlock your potential. Your blocks are lifted. Purchase a new home or car. Start a new business. Business opportunities are coming your way. Pursue what you have been waiting for. Unlock wisdom and knowledge. So it doesn't seem too bad. Like the destiny is in the palm of your hand, guys. And it looks like you're definitely going to take a chance on something. But there's also a disruption. I don't know what that is. You may have to surrender to this disruption, you know, just to make it an easier glide. But opportunities are coming your way. You have the key that will open doors for you whether in business, partnerships, whatever, but the destiny's in the palm of your head and then spirit placed these keys in your hand, right? So you have opportunities, choices. It could be work, this and that, wanting to start your own business. The opportunities are there. It is in your hand. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.